Quite what he intended. But even singles, very useful at this point of time with the Telugu Warriors. I'm not saying struggling, but uh, runs are not coming at a fast clip. And I can only hope that they'll remain patient, the Telugu Warriors, because they're a very good team. Drifting down leg for another single. I'm saying they're a fabulous team. And especially some of the big boys like Charan Teja, when he comes in, doesn't matter whether the field restrictions, because he can hit the ball a long way. Here's an important partner. That's Bull Region. Our uh, energy green appliances partner for CZL3. They make the most energy efficient appliances. And uh, you can also support their one watt project uh, by logging on to www.onewattproject.com and pledge your support. You save energy, you leave a better world behind, and that's what all of us need to do. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Dinesh Bhaiya, cover up. Back up, back up. Dinesh Bhaiya, back up. Well, it's good to see that uh, the Telugu Warriors are not panicking at all. Now, that's the surrounding area to this magnificent stadium. Some of the industrial areas here as well. But otherwise, the stadium's ringed by hills on all, almost all sides. And it's a very pretty sight. At the moment, um, rather dry, the countryside. But I can only imagine after the monsoon, it'll be beautiful and green and lush. Quite a sight. You know, as a cricketer, when you go to a stadium, uh, while the pitch and uh, the paraphernalia doesn't change, you always get intrigued by the surroundings. And this is uh, one of those beautiful, picturesque stadiums uh, in, in the country. Mine uh, is actually Dharamshala, the most uh, picturesque stadium in the world. And we can talk uh, more about it after this over gets completed. Well, you could have left it for a wide, but uh, paddled it. And got only a single. Singles of every delivery this over. Eight gone, 46 for one. Telugu Warriors, 46 for one. This partnership is 36 of 33 balls. Aditya and Giri have uh, consolidated after losing an early wicket of Adarsh. Now they get into that stage of the game where uh, they not in only need to consolidate, but also keep uh, the scoreboard moving. Four singles, doubles, whichever way they come, they must come uh, at least about six, seven and over. And that would uh, set them up nicely for a late surge. And let's not forget, they must not lose wickets from here because uh, if you lose too many, there's never enough in the tank. Only one Aram Uday is the new bowler. From the media center end, Bowls his dibbly dobbly off spins. Doesn't turn much, but then uh, he's known to be very accurate. He's got as many as five fielders inside the circle. No run, no run. Bang that in a little short. He's also a good bat, Uday Tiwari. Big contributor. Both the Tiwaris are very useful for uh, the Bhojpuri Dabangs. And here is the field positioning for uh, the new bowler, Uday. He's got as many as five fielders inside the circle, and that's refreshing to see. He is obviously backing his uh, ability to bowl at the right areas. And as long as you don't give away loose balls, this is always a, a good pressure building tactic. Uh, if singles are not easily available, batsman will have to do something fancy and could uh, actually end up losing his wicket. As he did the last time around. Aditya jumped out of the crease and uh, luckily for Uday, it was only a single to long on. Struck well. Only one, only High. One bounce to long off this time. Oh, no! A fielding error by Ayaz. And uh, what should have been only one turns out to be a bomb Chikawawa moment. Crowd has loved it. They're still trickling in the crowd. Boom Chikawawa moment. A good shot down the ground. Should have only fetched him one, but ended up getting three more, courtesy a misfield. Yeah, that was cheeky. Good backing up this time. And smart thinking. Got a boundary of the previous ball. Didn't try to go too hard uh, on the following ball. Just dabbed it around the corner for a single. And that's what uh, Telugu Warriors need to do. Both batsmen are now well set. But now they need to just keep moving along nicely. Well, 
Pity that he found the fielder long gone. It was a nice blow. Nine off the over. Nine gone. 55 for one. Going at 6.11 so far, the Telugu Warriors. And uh, while these two at the crease are doing a very good job, 45 from 39, a little bit of rebuilding after the early loss of Adarsh, they do have a few big hitters. For instance, of course, none bitter, none bigger than Charanteja. Oh, Maybe moved away a bit. Not much foot movement by Aditya. Prakash is uh, into his third over. He's conceded only 12 so far. He's done well. So only a three or four step run up. But he does land it well. And he has beaten the batsman on so many occasions, Prakash, that we've got to presume that the balls are maybe nipping off just a bit. Off the wicket. That's the thing with the white ball. If you can land it on the seam, it does something for you more often than not. Ah, oh, got away with it. The batsman was getting slightly adventurous. They need to be a little careful. They're getting into that strategic timeout very soon now. Just four legitimate balls left. Well, there's no doubt that uh, ah, our other major partners, 91.1 FM Radio City. Again, should be good for only one at extra cover. And maybe at that strategic timeout, they will discuss who should go for it. One of them must. They're both striking around 100. Not good enough, especially with the big hitters like Charan Teja still to come. Tarun can hit it big. Raghu, not bad. One of them uh, needs to be the aggressor. The other could still be the accumulator. Because, uh, soon they'll get into a stage where uh, they can really throw caution to the winds. Well, we do think that the Telugu Warriors need to step it up, and they possibly will in the second half of this innings. Last ball of the first ten overs, and they will pick up another single. That's it. Five off the over. Ten gone. Sixty for one. 